Hello and welcome to another Chrono Walkers Origins Genesis Battle of Champions Champion Primer. In these videos, we look at the new champions coming to Genesis Battle of Champions and just do a breakdown of what directions we think they can be built in and then look at some key cards relevant to the decks we want to build. So we have Satir here. So we got 24 health, 135 aura, so almost near the tip top, like one. 35, 140, 150, 150 is the very top, and then zero energy. So we're kind of feeling a little bit more in the, the mage that's summoner route with those stats looking at them. We've got the forward awareness, which is a pretty like baseline awareness for a champion to have. Moving through, a Satir is an elf. We've got a swift air attack, which costs exert, pretty normal, air attack one. And then what's this trigger here? Is this gonna give us a direction for the card? Reinforcements, at the end of the round, Look at the top card of your timeline. You may reveal it. If it's a summon, then play its beckon ability by paying the cost. So, interestingly, mm. you can reveal non-summons. Um, yeah. I don't know why you would do that, but you're allowed to. Well, that's uh, just when you <laughs> reveal the bolt shot on top, and then you're like, you're dead next yeah, turn. Just, All right, you might as yeah, well concede. That being said, it does sound like Satir is a summoner. Absolutely. You got uh, uh, abilities built all around summons. It's getting reinforcements every turn. And yeah, uh, and we've yeah. got the aura pool and yeah. a solid amount of health for dealing with it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Good stats. Um, the other summoner that we really love, Bazin, with his Reality Master ability, if you want to check that video out, he only had 19 health, so we're almost uh, a third of his health higher at 24, which kind of implies that Satir's going to be a little bit better about getting in the mix and playing alongside their summons. I wonder why that would be. Oh, it's because we're summoning extra summons in the mix of the fight at the end of the round before the opponent can react. Interesting, interesting, yeah, interesting. That's right. But that being <laughs> said, it does mean that you will have to limit your deck to mostly yes. summon. Yeah, because otherwise, uh, like we're a decent mage style champion with that, that health aura. pool alongside the aura. We want the free value. Give me the free value. Yeah, that's right. Force. If you're not flipping yeah. a new creature every turn, you know, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, we want to be doing that. So, I mean, the comparison would be bad newbie. A newbie just gets to draw the card and then use it for mm -hmm. other things like discarding. Yep. Like, the higher our summon count gets up there, uh, the better tier kind of gets in terms of getting closer to like that newbie comparison but i mean yeah that's like, right so you have a better health you have less have aura more health different colors but you had to really work to get that extra card draw every turn what, what did we get out of that all right well let's take a look so first off we summon was at the end of the round so we're, we're breaking right. the timing restrictions which allows you to do fancy things it allows for pseudo blitz on these summons so they immediately yeah. come into play the round ends and then boom new round and they can attack again uh, they, and if you're going first they can immediately move if they're not going first they can respond and so it kind of messes things up plus your opponent doesn't really know what the battlefield looks like at the end of the round or the start of their, their round that's a great point that is a really good point we we had a handshake we had a reasonable agreement of this is what everyone's going to the end of the round doing and then satya's like well actually yeah this person's <laughs> actually right here uh, yeah. they were here the entire time don't worry about it those summons that are uh, coming at the end of the round if you're in the end of the round it's after any new turns for that round can be declared so you're not going to get to use those summons uh if they do have like blitz or something that get, lets them come in without a counter and you're not going to get an extra turn with those with those summons but like what else can we do well we can double move and still apply pressure this is something that we mentioned loving about bosin when you lean into the quick beckons that bosin does satir can just do it anyway and then get a summon at the end of the turn while you're in the mix there it seems to be the way that they're building these summoners is the ability to double move and still affect the board uh, and i think that's very yeah. important to do because you know those fighters are going to be able are going to be jumping and moving all over the place to try to get to you absolutely and you got to keep up and i guess one more special uh, thing about satir is they give a little bit more uh support to decay summons because there are some decay uh summons from like going all the way back to i think uh yeah. Bader and welcome come to on Jalara. you can say it you can say it payunad payunad summons which decay and the summoning timing on the reinforcements trigger means it's after any decay triggers would go on the stack so be able to act on the turn where they start with their full health adds a little bit more to decay uh summons so if you love those decay summons and wish they were a little bit stronger Stronger, this is a great way to get one more turn out of them if you can get them in off the reinforcement trigger but yeah, i think that's enough uh, for yeah. our breakdown so what kind of um, reinforcements are we reinforcing ourselves with yeah exactly yeah. so first up let's look at this quetzalcoatl named uh, Hayam. so this yeah. is in the 
cycle. Uh, we've mentioned some of these type of cards before. These are the brand cycles. And this is just the 6G, 4 health, 3 range air attack with the... Yeah, yeah. diagonals and far forward, I guess. 4 diagonals and far forward, maybe? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, but either way, this is ranged damage, both in literally its attack name <laughs> and also deals it from far away. And the brand, and as you can see, Satir has an air attack, so you can do a little bit of extra damage if you hit them with the high end first. But there's Absolutely. also several powerful air damage dealing summons in Bellum coming out in Origins, such as Air Soldier, uh, another strong summon. This one yeah. is a 7G, 6 health, with 3 damage on its air attack and left, right, and forward. But it's got a kind of an interesting ability if you want to describe that one. There is a trigger, execute trigger, which is when Air Soldier plays its cast ability, if it's a third ability on the stab, then copy it and Air Soldier may choose a new target for the copy. So third ability on the stack means that for this to really work, you need to get extra ability. So we want range summons and oh, hey, look, a high M, that's a range summon. So it could be in a more defended position and still hitting the same thing that air soldiers coming in to hit. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. A synergy one could almost say. <laughs> um, it's like they're then... designed to be played together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's almost like they're designed to play together. Yeah, so like you're going to have to do like play something from Satir or have another, another summon to Put an ability on the stack so air soldier likes to play with other range summons to try and build up and then like doubling your her attack to, to six building your own 7g six 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 attack six damage creature i mean we've seen what six health and six damage on a, on a summon can do to to a game like that yeah. is a lot of damage and not even in this um, awareness too so that you can also split up also just to think about you know the third ability in the stack you attack something with one of your summons of which you have a lot of Maybe they attack back, and then all of a sudden, boom, you've got your air soldier for the third ability. Third ability isn't that hard to achieve. It just requires, you know, one back and forth between the players. Absolutely. But I mean, enough with Bellum cards. I yeah. want to see a Chaos card that yeah, we can so put together with Satir. What are we uh, going <laughs> to, what kind of Chaos card are we going to get? Probably one of my favorite Chaos cards for all time. we got Death's <laughs> Companion in its nice looking alpha border, alpha card. Yeah, this is one of the stronger Chaos Summons. We've seen it in Core Decks, which they'll put like 10 of them in there. It's a 7G, 3 health, but that's okay. It's got Flight and Aerial. I, I know it says just Flight here, but that's okay. It's just Alpha. Yeah, putting up the Alpha art there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, there is a little bit more of a reason, actually, that we chose this card to go here, which is the fact that it only costs 12 Aura, right? So if you want a high summon density and want to be effectively drawing more cards with Satir's ability, if you run out of aura early, then it becomes a problem. Then the reinforcement yeah. trigger is gone. So yeah, you, like you lose your whole reason companion. for being that, that champion. Yeah. Exactly. So the fact that Death's Companion costs only 12 aura is absolutely means like there's there's a bit more of synergy than just being like a strong summon in the game with a defensive ability. There's a bit more with Satir. This is the kind of thing we want to lean into. And I will say, unfortunately, it hasn't been reprinted since beta, except in some OP packs. So yeah. Uh, yeah, good luck getting some. Get get these now. Let's still get some. So these are just like very strong summons that you just you just want to play generally. But let's look at some summons that just have very powerful effects that get amplified with Satir's ability. And we'll start with Cackling Scavenger. Yeah, so, so again, a very cheap summon for where it is on the chi scale, like seven chi, but it's only 15. A, a returning ability, actually, this is not new, Fear. Uh, continuous summons in Cackling Scavenger's Awareness cannot play attack abilities. But the old version of this card or this ability wasn't really playable. We'll show it for a bit, but I mean, just get that off screen. But this, oh boy. So the Fear, we've got three awarenesses left, right, and forward. And then summons in Cackling Scavenger's Awareness cannot play attack abilities and then fire attack five at swift speed and four health like these are just solid solid stats mm -hmm. damage high enough to be a reasonable clock why is this synergized with satiri well this comes down without people being able to play around it because we're doing it off our reinforcement trigger so it's surprise if anything's in these spots they can't play attack abilities which there has been a bit of a move towards more casts but there's also been a move to more more range attacks on summons and range attacks are in fact still attacks so those are attack abilities and will be stopped by Kathleen scavenger interesting yep. uh interesting stuff here if you can surprise the opponent then they have to plan around it after the yeah being able to just play this down take out their best summon without them being able to attack back it's pretty strong you need these kind of defensive cards because 
you could only play summons, and the issue with summons is that they had to wait a turn. You're so, delaying your damage. Yeah, you're delaying your damage. They can do something about it, like spells are immediate. We have other summons that kind of do things when they come down. And we can look at our next one here, Death Eater, which is getting a reprint. Uh, this is a 6 chi, 4 health, 3 damage summon that costs 3 health, so it can be played. You do have a large aura pool, but you're going to be playing a lot of summons, so this one can be played with your reasonable health pool. But it has Death Touch. When Death Eater enters the arena, it kills target summon around it with remaining 3 health or less. Removal spell on a body that you can play in your deck, which is important because you're not going to be able to play those called shots that other people are playing. You probably will play some bolt shots, but not as many as you'd like. And yeah, yeah this is just energy. extra extra removal that you can peel off the top. The only time you can't play it is kind of like when you're already dead. That's a little bit of a problem there. Also, like this is while this is a reprint, awesome new art from Mario. So give, mm -hmm. a, give a shout out to that. And we've talked a lot about summons, but you will want to play some non-summons. And one of the main ones we see here is Malefic Impalement. We have mentioned before, but it is an HG and it has the line attack mechanic, which means it starts in front of you and goes all the way to the end of the board and is a good card, even especially for summoners. And you can yeah. tell because it's, the art is using Satyr's Spear to impale it. <laughs> <opus. laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, was, I guess you have to play it. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was made with Satyr in mind. But yeah, like. Why are we playing a non summon in our Satir deck? Like, what, what does this add to the game plan? Well, this, I mean, this lets you be a filthy coward and hide behind your summons, but still hit things, which is what is great about this. I mean, who doesn't love being a filthy coward and letting other people do the work for you? Mm -hmm. um, right? Like, you know, what's not to love, right? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, you get to send all your summons down, surround your opponent, opponent tries to do anything, AoE, whatever it is. You just hit them for six damage and say, nope, a damage spell, counter spell, and one craziness. A nope and a punch. Yeah. Like, what, what's not to love? And mm -hmm. a little bit of synergy, I guess, with Air Soldier, because this is one of the, an example of one of those things that you can put on the stack from all the way at the back of the board and help Air Soldier get to that execute yeah. uh, extra trigger. So That's there's right. a little synergy there, too. But there is one thing you know we want to look at, because we do see here, on Malefic Impalement Art. As I mentioned before, Satir Impaling Iblis. I think they're on the same team, or on the, at least they're allies, as far as I'm, yeah. I'm aware of, right? <laughs> but then they share see, a color. Shouldn't yeah. it be some sort of uh, camaraderie if they're yeah. sharing a color? That's right. And then like... we see the next card right here, Calculated Assault. Uh, is that Satir killing Manat as well? Uh, what, what's going on here? Yeah, it's like, why is Satir <laughs> murdering every other champion? Yeah, like, what's yeah. going on here? It's like, and they're also like, it's an, an, another Bellum champion that yep. Satir is, yeah, it's like, what, why is Satir so angry at Bellum? Yeah, what's going on here? brutal, but that, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Ka Kasha kills her in the end. Oh, okay, I guess that's fine. So, yeah, that's we'll fine now. Just, just uh, <laughs> you know, sudden vengeance. Yeah, so in our deck building primer, we felt it was really important mm -hmm. to kind of wonder why there's a homicidal maniac uh, among the champions. What's, yeah. what's going on, ACG? What, what, <laughs> do you condone this? What's going on? Anyway. <laughs> that Malefic Compelment art is going to be a lot of players losing the game. But anyway, yeah, that was another of our primer videos. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We did a little spice at the end there with looking at some of the art and what the champion is doing. Hope you enjoyed that and that there are more videos to come. So yeah, yeah. come check those out too. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>